everyone here's a question on rational numbers the question is find five rational numbers between 3 by 5 and 2 by 3 now this type of questions are really important and they may just change this number and they're gonna ask you to find out the rational number between the two rational numbers now this method is really simple and this method is applicable for all the numbers like this type of question when they give you now the, what is the first step in solving this question Whenever they ask you to find out a rational numbers between two rational numbers, just check the denominators. The denominator has to be same. Like here we have denominator 5 and 3, they are not same. So the first step will become, take the LCM and make it same. So in case they are not same, take the LCM of denominator which is 5 and 3. So LCM of 5 and 3 will be 15. Okay. Now we are going to make the denominators change for both the numbers. So first he is 3 by 5. So with this 5 what you should multiply. See I am finding the equivalent rational number of 3 by 5 where denominator is 15. Okay. So with 5 what we should multiply to get 15? It is 3. So multiply 3 in the numerator too. Both okay, numerator and denominator. It will become 9 by 15. Similarly for second number also you should do the same thing. To this 3, what you should multiply to get denominator 15? So you should multiply here 5. So multiply 5 in the numerator and denominator. So 5 2 is a 10. We got 9 by 15 and 10 by 15. Now in the question, they are asking find 5 rational numbers, right? 5 they are asking. Now if you see here, we got 9 by 15, 10 by 15. Now between 9 and 10 we don't have any numbers, right? We have a number which is in decimal, but we don't have any whole number between 9 and 10. Like, like after 9, the next number is immediately 10. Then what to do in such case? In case you're getting a sufficient gap, in case you're getting a, like for example, you, you got 1 by 15 and you got 7 by 15. The in between 1 and, seven, 1 and 7 you have many numbers like 2 by 15, 3 by 15, so on upon 6 by 15 then you can able to write down the 5 rational numbers but here in this question we are not getting a sufficient rational numbers because the gap is very less now in that situation what you should do we are gonna increase the gap so again how to do it see 9 by 15 is a equivalent rational number of 3 by 5 similarly 10 by 15 is also equivalent rational number of 2 by 3 equivalent means they both are equal if you cancel 9 and 15 you will get back 3 by 5 okay now what I'm going to do, I'm going to find out the equivalent rational number of 9 by 15 and 10 by 15. Okay, So that the gap will be more, I can find out the more rational numbers. Now how to do it? You might have learned in the rational number chapter how to find out the equivalent rational number. So there are two ways, one is multiplying and one is dividing. Dividing you are not going to get sufficient numbers, so we're going to go with multiplication. So take this 9 by 15, okay, both the numbers 9 by 15 and 10 by 15. You multiply with any number you want. Okay, that like if you multiply with any number, you will get the equivalent rational number. So here they are asking five rational number. So you multiply with number greater than five. Okay, don't multiply with any number. I, like I said, multiply with any number. So don't take a number which is less than five because the gap will not be sufficient. You will get the number, but you will not get five rational numbers. So multiply with any number which is greater than five. That is from six, you multiply with any number. You can multiply with 10, 100, 200, whatever. Just take a small numbers like 10, 20 so that multiplication will be easy. So here I'm going to multiply with 10. So it's not necessary you should multiply with 10 only. You can multiply with any number. But your answer will be different than my number. Like my answers. But that's okay. So here it will be 90 by 150. Similarly the second number 10 by 15 I have. Again I'm going to multiply this number also with 10. Why I'm doing with 10? Because the denominator has to be same. If I multiply with some other number denominators will not be same and I cannot get the answer. So this will be 150. So I got here 90 by 150 and 100 by 150. Now you can see that between 90 and 100 I have a num many numbers 91, 92 so on up to 99. Out of this number I can pick any 5 and I can write down. Now remember one more thing there are infinitely many rational numbers between your two rational numbers. So my answer may be different than your answer or your answer may be different than your teacher's answer but that's okay like because there are infinitely many rational numbers so the answer need not to be matched. So it's okay whatever answer you write but it should be correct. So I'm going to conclude the answer therefore 5 rational numbers 5 rational numbers 
between 3 by 5 and 2 by 3 are just take in five random five numbers 91 by 150 then 92 by 150 you can take 95 by 150 then I'll take 96 by 150 and the last one I'm going to take 99 99 by 150 you can take any five random numbers you can write down so I hope this question is clear and in case you have any other question or doubt you can drop a comment thank you so much for watching